in the last couple of years, there's been a real change in people's like requirements and wants in terms of resolution. And it's not just as photographers, it's coming from the clients. But let's have a look at why that is. Now, generally speaking, my clients do not care what camera I use. For years and years, I can turn it with whatever I want and they don't mind. I can turn it with a 20 year old camera, a film camera, whatever it takes, because they're paying me to do the job. But, but this is changing. and I've noticed this specifically this year. There's been little smatterings of it in the past, but I've put it down to, you know, clients being anxious or nervous or having read an article somewhere, understanding a little bit and thinking they know a lot. But this is more than a coincidence now. So let's look at why it is we're having to shoot higher resolution images when the final output is getting lower in resolution. So it comes down to a few things. And, and the primary one is budgets. Budgets are getting squeezed. And because of that, we're now having multiple usage from a single shot. So instead of going, we'll do a social shoot for this, a social shoot for that, a billboard for this, digital billboard for that, it's all in one job. Now, thankfully, there's more and more clients and there's more and more users. There's plenty of work still, but what the work looks like is very different. It's very rare, for example, now that we do a stills campaign with that moving image. But those stills are huge. The last four, five, five jobs we've shot would have been over 100 megapixels per frame. Now, there's still the odd ones in there, which are 20 to 50, which is reasonable. But these 100 megapixel behemoth shots or the 150 megapixel ones when we use the phase, this is why we're doing it. It comes down to media output. They want a 16 by nine. They want a four by five, a one by one. They want a billboard, a digital billboard. They want prints to go in store, six sheets on the side of bus stops, entire bus and taxi wraps. And they just don't know where it's going to end up. So they want to make sure they're completely safe. Even if it ends up at an expedition being printed at full resolution across a wall, they want to know they've got it covered. And because of that, we're shooting higher resolution. But that's not all. That's not all. It comes down to even more than this. For some reason, this year, jobs have been rushed. There's been like right to the wire changes in the brief, like complete changes. We've been on shoots twice this year where midway through a shoot, we've changed the brief, not me personally, but the client. And because of that, they're so unsure as to what they want, they want to make sure they can do lots with it. So a lot of the times now, I'm handing over almost a digital package, and that looks like this. It's kind of like a back plate of the whole scene, and then the item's all shot individually so you can move them around. And because we shoot them all at such high resolution, they can put them anywhere, they can crop it in, make it bigger, do whatever they want with this digital asset. And that seems to be becoming more and more popular. And of course, to do that, you need the resolution. Now, the final reason this is happening is a reason that I've always thought, always expected, and kind of this is what I thought it was, and it, and it still is. It's lack of client education. It's where they've read something, seen something, and gone, oh, we need this, when they actually don't. And that's fine. That is really common. I do the same with my accountant. I do the same at the garage when I get my car fixed. I don't know. I've heard a little bit. I think I know a lot. That's fine. But this is certainly, this used to be the number one reason people would be like, what camera are you shooting on? Can we do it on this? Can we do that? So as the photographer, I know when we need medium formats. I know when we need high bit depth and I know when we need high resolution. You shouldn't need to ask me what I'm using, just accept it'll be right. But I don't think that's the reason anymore. Things really have changed. And there's also a scared element from the client, not the agency, but the client side, where they want to make sure they turn up to their boss and go, look, we've got everything for everything. Whatever you want with this, we can do it. We can turn it into moving image, GIFs, still light, whatever it is, we've got it all packaged up here. We shot the video in 8K. We shot the stills at 150 megapixels. There's nothing you can ask me to do with these digital assets that I can't do. You want a macro shot? We've got a macro shot. You want a wide shot with a composite of loads of things? We've got it. It's all there to play with. And that's part of the reason why I upgraded to Fuji 100 megapixel system, because I was starting to rent in cameras more often, and it made sense to have a 100 megapixel camera myself. There were other reasons as well, but that, that is part of the reason. File size, bit annoying, but lovely images. See you soon. Bye-bye.